What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So in today's video, we're going to be melting down a whole bunch of scrap copper wire. And so for this project, I was recently sent this Vivo wire stripper. And it's not electric, it's hand crank, or you have the option to hook up a drill to it right over here to make it easier. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do it manually by hand. And I do have some scrap copper wire just to test, just to show you how easily this does work. And when I got this, it came with some extra nuts and bolts in case you wanted to mount this to a table just to make it easier and to keep it more stable. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to feed the wire right on through here. You can adjust how high or low you need it to actually feed through. So let me just show you quickly how this works. And then we're going to get into this video and let's melt down some copper. So as you can see right here, the wire goes right in through the hole and the little blade right here will strip it right apart. And obviously I have this on the end of the table to make sure I can crank this handle. So I'm just gonna take this wire, we're gonna feed it right in. And as I turn the handle, you can see that it's cutting right through it. So it did in fact slice this wire and you can go and find where it slid it. There we go, right there. And as you can see, that peeled right apart, not a problem whatsoever. So there you have it. And that didn't take any time at all. I'll just go recycle the scraps. And if you're looking to pick up one of these machines, they're only about $60, $70. I will put a link down in the description to where you can pick this up. But this works great. If you're just looking to strip some copper wire, if you don't have a whole lot of it, and I have a bunch of it, which I will show you soon as I'm about to go strip a whole bunch of this down and melt it. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking one up. It's inexpensive. You don't have to worry about spending two, $300 on an electric one. And like I said, you could use a drill with the little attachment that they come with. And you can hook it on here and just use a drill and a power drill if you got 200 feet of wire you got to do and you don't want to sit there and crank it by hand. But this works perfectly. You can adjust it real easily with just the bolt on top and the nut. So yeah, but let's go jump right into this video now. Let's get started. Let's go find a whole bunch of wire to melt and cut down and strip. So let's do that. 